Oh, look. What are they going after? What are y'all going after? Oh, the shrimp. Oh, they got, they got the shrimp. They got the shrimp. Y'all are evil. I got way too many angelfish in this tank, and I got to get rid of a bunch of them because I plan on breeding them, and I don't want to breed any bunk angels. What are the characteristics of the best specimen fish for your aquarium? Now, this is a little different, though. This particular video is a little bit different because not only do I have to separate the best fish from the worst fish, but I also have um, a, a vision on what I want these fish to look like, the babies to look like. So I also have that added twist, and I'm gonna tell you at the end um, what I'm hoping these guys are gonna look like. So stick around and help me help me, help me sort this out. Now I've had these fish for about a week. Pretty, pretty um, confident that these guys internally are healthy. What we are gonna go over is the external things, the stuff genetically that makes their bodies look the way they are that we don't want. And that's gonna determine who's gonna make the cut. All right, this is the 75 with about 25 angelfish in here. Um, they are all adult size. They are well past breed. I mean, they're well into breeding size. So let's start out with the dorsal fin, the, the high fin that comes off the top. These, all right, so these fish right here, like I said, I've had them for a week and the situation that they were in, they were cram packed into a, um, into um, breeding tanks. They, they got way too big and the owner wasn't able to get rid of them before they got to this size and it got cramped. So there was some some thin issues that they had, but in this little bit of week, this little week that I had with the food and the water changes, their fin started coming back, um, which you can see right there. You know, let me see if I can focus. Focus, man. All right, that's a little bit better. But their fins are not 100% healed, but I could get a pretty good idea of where their fins are going. Some of them I can tell are gonna be good, some of them not so much. So the dorsal fin, this dorsal fin right here, and these are standard fin angels. That means they're not high fin, they're not wide fin. Um, you see this one right here? So listen, let me take just a little moment of your time to tell you about www.nosaltbp.org. This is a website ran by a beautiful hearted woman that's all about saving people's lives. She's out there on Skid Row doing selfless acts, helping everyday people who are many, many of them are veterans on her own dime. It's definitely www.nosaltbp.org is a legit charity. So if you want to help her out, there is a donation section there and it is tax deductible. So you don't have to worry about that. Your money's going to the right place. High blood pressure and heart related illnesses affects pretty much everybody. Whether you have the issue or not, somebody you know or somebody in your family is dealing with it. The things you learn there could save your life or possibly save the life of someone close to you. Here on Skid Row. How many people did we feed, Vice President? 75. 75 on Skid Row. This is one of the ones that I had prior to, right? And you see how long in comparison to his body, that finage. That fin, that top dorsal fin is, it's supposed to be really, where are you? He moved it in from me. All right, there goes another one. All right, see how long and straight that fin is along with that one? These are two of my originals. Um, That's the way they should look. And you can tell some of these newer ones are, are going in that direction. Um, And then you can tell some of them are not, that one's gonna have a straight fin. Then you can tell eh, some of these, not so much. Hey, yo, look, I forgot something. I was doing the editing and stuff. I'm on my way, I gotta get some stuff and I had to put it in there. Listen, angelfish, right? When it comes to their dorsal fin, they are actually supposed to have a couple of spikes, like right before you know the, the it gets the long dorsal fin. It's supposed to have some small spikes before that. I've been noticing a lot of angels go straight from the back of the head and go straight into that big dorsal fin. They're supposed to have a couple of little spiky things right before, about maybe maybe like four or five spikes smaller before it turns into dorsal fin. Um, if you pay attention, next time you're out, you, you might notice that some of them have them, some of them don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for those dorsal fins and whenever fin that I feel is sketchy, like really, really bad, I don't I don't think it's there's any hope for it, that's one that I'm gonna get rid of. Some of them get damaged and um, it's not a genetic thing. So their offspring will not have that damaged fin you know it was something physical it's like it's like just because you got your foot cut off that don't mean all your kids are gonna be born one footed right oh one thing else i forgot about um the dorsal fin especially with the bales and what if it gets to the point where the, the the fin goes straight up and it has a hard turn it shouldn't have a hard turn it should just go straight up and shoot into the sky it should not 
keep and then have a hook. It should not have that. So that's one, one thing about the dorsal fin I forgot to say. To be honest with you, the tail fin is usually, they should be like this. You see how they have two trailers at the top and the bottom on this one? This is like, this is one of my originals. A trailer here and a trailer here, smooth. But because these had a, a situation, these came out of a situation where, you know, their fins were nipped on and, and, and damaged due to, you know, water quality and all that, they'll come back. But right now it's hard to use that as a judgment, a judgment point, right? If you have fish that um are long fin or veils, please, please do me the, it's, it's my pet peeve. You see the base of the tail right there? Okay, right there, where the body and the tail, you know, where it goes. So if you have a long fin or the super veil angel, please pay attention. If the tail is drooping down like this, like on a super veil, that's putting a lot of pressure right there on the skeletal system. And your fish is pretty much going to have a very difficult time getting around. If it was in a tank with other fish that didn't have that difficult time, it would probably miss out on getting as much food as it needed. So when it comes to long fin fish, try and think about is those long fins eventually going to slow it down um but yeah I, the base of the tail honestly is what you want to look at with long fin fish next you want to look at the pelvic fin now the pelvic fin on angels are these two long fins down at the bottom you see those two right there those are ones that i see always get overlooked when it comes to buying angel fish because people are always looking at that dorsal fin right they should be straight and they should be on both sides of the fish one on one side one on the other I've seen a lot where one is in the middle and the other one is on the right. That's because they're they're deformed. A lot of this the deformations are, are from inbreeding. Most of these deformations are from inbreeding. So you want to try and not look at, you know, you want to be very systematic. You want to write this stuff down and be like, don't forget to look at this. Don't forget to look at that. So some of these guys' pelvic fins are fine. That one's fine right there. That one's cool. Um, there's some in here that are really bad, like this one. You see how twisted it is at the end piece? Now those are like... Those aren't like kinks, those are twists. It was born that way. Um, let me see if I can find another one. There's, I saw like maybe two or three that had that issue um, where their pelvic fins were not up to par. Uh, or you don't want them short either. You don't want them short. Um, there, goes, there goes one right there. You see that one, well, you can't see it from that angle, but I'm not liking the way they kind of move to the left and right. They should be hanging straight down. So like, like this, you see that? How they just hang down like strings? That's the way they should be. That's the way they should be. Um, if they're twisted up like that, like little ribbons and stuff, pretty much that's the way genetically they would came. Now, if it was kinked, then it might be, it got damaged when somebody netted it. Sometimes they're just short. You want them to be long. They should be long and droopy, all right? All right, now here's a fun one to talk about. We're talking about the anal fin. <laughs> all right, so look at this, this one right here. These are, not that one. Um, let's look at this one. If you can see them, they're a little bit translucent, so it's a little bit difficult but it should be smooth. There could be a slight curve to it, but I see a lot with it. It has a very hard curve. That's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. So you have to look at that. It should be coming, it should have a slight curve, but in a downward um, downward angle, just like that. Um, I'm sure if you looked hard enough at other people's fish, you'll see that hard curve where it comes from the back right here and goes like real hard. Now, that's not a good thing. You don't want that, all right? It should be going down. And it should be long, you know. These like, the, like my original ones. Where they at? Where you at originals? The OGs. Where you at? OGs. They're around here somewhere. Oh, there goes one. It's smaller, but see how long that anal fin is? That one right there, the one in the back. Those those anal fins. Right? See how short that one is? I'm not liking it. You know what I mean, this one's this one's a way smaller fish, and its anal fin is longer. Now, it, they might grow. They might grow out. I'm gonna give some of them some time, but some of them I can tell right away. I'm not, I'm not too cool with it. You know, those shouldn't have kinks in it neither. Pectoral fins. Pectoral fins are a lot of times get looked over because they're normally translucent. You can't see them. Pectoral fins are the two fins right on either side of its head, right? If you go to Petco or PetSmart, someplace where it has a lot of angelfish, you'll notice that some are missing one altogether. Like it'll have one here or, or it's missing the one altogether. Um, sometimes if they're with bigger fish, they'll get nipped, which way they will grow back. But if they get nipped all the way down to the nub, they're not growing back. Like this one right here, this is damaged fins. Those will grow back. I need y'all to look straight at me. Come on, look straight at me for the for the peoples, for the YouTube. Gill plates. Gill plates is a is a, is a thing for me. All right. Um. So what gill plate is is basically it's the plate that covers the gills. Gill plates. <laughs> Now, you see these, these red ones, like that, that one, that one back there, 
hate that one. I hate that. I personally cannot stand, they call them blushing, but I can't stand the look of them. It, I don't, I feel like I'm looking into it where you actually are. It's nothing, what it is over here is the gill plate is has no pigment and you can see right to the redness of the gills. I don't like that. It actually makes them look sick to me, you know, because there is there is um there is gill issues where the gills are really, really red and, and that, it just makes me feel. So anyway, who is that one with the black gill plate? Because it was a pretty good example. All right, you see how it curves? It, it got that curve in it from the mouth. It comes around underneath the, and then halfway up its head. That's the way it should be. I've seen a lot where the gill plate is shortened and straight, exposing the gills. That's not good. That's why I don't like this 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 blushing stuff because it looks like it exposes the gills right there. Now they have the gill plate on them. Like you see it, it has a gill plate, but because they're so translucent, it just looks bad to me. So that's the gill plates. I don't like blushing because of that. People who may not know, they think they have a blushing fish. Really, it might be they don't have gill plates. You know, I, I don't like that look. So pretty much all the fish that have these translucent gill plates, I can guarantee you are gonna go. They're they're not they're not gonna make the cut. I like either red eyes or eyes that are pretty much perfectly formed. You see that one right there? Let's see if we can get a good shot at this eye. All right, you see that? That one, all right, here's, look, you see that black all through its eyes? I don't like that. I'm not liking that. It kind of looks like he's angry. There's this thing called stunting, right? And stunting is when a fish does not grow to its full potential because of whatever reasons. Um, Maybe, you know, you haven't done water changes, hormones in the water has built up. Anyway, there, there's people out there that say you can tell the age of a fish by looking at the size of its eyes. So apparently stunting, the eyes continue to grow, but the body does not. I don't know how true that is. For one reason, I've never seen, I've never seen a ratio for the size of its eyes to the size of its body so i'm not really i'm not really i don't know too much about that one if you guys know anything about that one please let me know if it is a thing i've seen some fish that i mean i guess they had big eyes for their body and i've seen other fish where i guess they had small eyes from their body some of it could be a genetic thing I, you know I, I don't know i don't really go by that i'm not running around going like, look how big its eyes is. it's got huge eyes body we're gonna talk about the body the body you don't hear people say, oh, angels should have a rounded body. And you kind of see that little uh, uh, imaginary circle could be right there and fit nicely. So that's their body. So after all of that, after I remove all these fish that don't make the cut, I also have to remove fish on coloration. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get an all yellow fish. Now, I know there's gold angel fish out there. I don't want a gold angel fish. I want a yellow angel fish. Yellow, yellow is my color. You know what I mean? I got a look that I'm looking for. After I remove all these fish with all these um, physical issues, because health-wise, they're good. They're real good. Um, but after I remove these, these fish with the physical deformations that I'm not digging, I'm going to go after the color, all right? I am going to keep the fish with as much yellow and vibrant yellow as possible and get rid of fish that, that have the most amount of black first and then I'll go into the white after a while it, it should get less and less and less to where there's more yellow and less of the other color sometime in that period after I get rid after I come down with maybe let's say I'm gonna get down to like maybe three breeding pairs of the fish that are as yellow and fit all my criteria and I got tanks outside that I'm gonna put them in in my other my little garage area I'm going to pack this tank once again with koi, yellow koi angelfish, just like this is, and do the same process. But I'm looking for fish with a different bloodline altogether. So I'm gonna have to try and find fish. Definitely not go to the person where I got these fish. I need to go somewhere else, um, which was cool because this the, the person I got this fish was a, was a home breeder. Um, but I can go somewhere else and um, find another home breeder or someone that has a lot of these, and, or, or you know hook, hook up with Consolidated Fish Farm and get him to get me a bunch of koi. But they probably not gonna be this big. To get fish this big is a lot of money. And I'll probably have to get them small and grow them out. And I'm gonna have to do that again because you don't want to, inbreeding, while you might be breeding positive traits, like a mass amounts of yellow, um, long fins, you might be breeding all that stuff, you're also gonna be breeding the bad stuff that you may not be able to see. They might be sickly internally, you know? Um, they might have a short span, you know, just, they just might, they just, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna inbreed too much. We all know what happens with inbreeding, all right? 
So at some point I need to do this whole process again with a whole different batch of fish to strengthen the bloodline, you know? And uh, this is probably gonna take five years. In my opinion, I'm doing the math, you know, I know how often they breed, I know how long it takes them to get breeding age, and, and, and I'm thinking five years. If I, can, if I can stay focused and stay disciplined, I'd be doing this for five years until I got it right. I think that's just me. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If, you, if you're curious on what's going to happen with these, what, how, which ones are going to be left, um, I'm going to do another video after I remove them, Jokers. Um, you know, hit the sub button and the, um, the notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think because I really, really want to know.